Greetings, friendos, and welcome back to the Ark Slayer. For today's video, we're doing another serial. And for a lot of you, you're probably just like, oh great, what is it this time? Is it another one of those goofy monster serials, or the usual ones we see every year? It is, in fact, a monster serial, yes. But this review is not going to be on Frankenberry. It's not even going to be on Booberry, nor is it going to be on Count Chocula with his little chocolate marshmallow sweeties. No, for today's video, a certain company that makes these monster cereals every year, General Mills, has teamed up with someone who goes by the handle of Cause, K-A-W-S, hopefully you can see it right there, the little squiggles right here by my pinky to bring back a, I don't want to say forgotten, but a forgotten, a discontinued monster serial from the 1970s. Now one thing I should let you all know is I actually did a little research this time, so I'm not just talking out the side of my neck. So the monster serials were released in the 1970s, beginning with Count Chocula and Frankenberry. And these two actually did fairly well, and these were a year-round staple back in that time. So, because these were doing so well, General Mills decided to throw out a new character. And that is when they invented, uh, I almost said Frankenberry again, when they invented Booberry. Now these were the three main ones that they came up with at that point in time. Later on down the road, Within, I want to say, four or so years after those serials there came out, they decided to kind of try again, you know, try and push out some more monster serials, just test the market and see how much of these they could get away with. And two of those serials were released. One was called Fruity Yummy Mummy, and the other, which has resurfaced for the second time in, I want to say, about a decade, it might have been a third, they might have released it a third time, but I can't quite recall. But they brought back Fruit Brute for the year 2022. And one thing I will say is, I actually got to try this cereal once a few years ago. Uh, more than a few years ago, now that I'm thinking about it. But when they re-released <clears throat> re it, along with Fruity Yummy Mummy, I did actually try both of them. And I will say that I unfortunately wasn't doing YouTube at the time, so I didn't make a video about it, I didn't share my thoughts on them, so I'll share my thoughts here. They were okay. They were not my... I wouldn't say they were not my least favorite monster cereals, but they were serviceable. They, from what I recall, they kind of had more of a, a fruity, more of a... Oh... Sorry, everyone, it's, it's been so long, I'm trying my best to remember it. But, um, they weren't quite like Frankenberry. They had their own thing going on. But then, after that year, poof, they were gone. Just never to return, it seemed. Until now. Unfortunately, we still don't have Fruity Yummy Mummy, but they brought back the Fruit Brute, the werewolf himself. And the story for this particular video, for my quest to actually obtain a box of this stuff, it's been a little bit of a struggle, because uh, yours Ghouli only ever usually shops at one particular store, and that would be Walmart. Not sponsored in any way, shape, or form, but usually we go to Walmart for our grocery shopping and that sort of thing. And of course, our Walmart had Frankenberry, Count Chocula, and Booberry, but those jerks did not carry Fruit Brute. I heard that they had all four of the monster cereals at a location known as Sam's Club, which I believe has ties to Walmart, but you kind of have to have a membership there in order to get the good deals on the food. And I wasn't going to go signing up for a membership at a store 
to buy one box of cereal one time. Potentially one time. It, if Fruit Brute is that good, I may wind up going and getting myself another box at some point in time. But we're belay, uh, belaying, delaying the inevitable. Getting back to the actual story at hand. So I went online and I did a little digging, like where to buy Fruit Brute. And there were several things that popped up that said you could get it at Walmart. And from personal experience, my local Walmart stores did not carry Fruit Brute. I'm assuming you could like buy it online and have it shipped to your house. But I wanted to actually go to the store and get this with my hands. I wanted to walk up to the counter with that box in my hands, set it down, and not have it fall off the thing, but set it down and either have the cashier deal with it for me or put it through the automated thing myself. I also wanted to just be able to walk into the cereal aisle and go, Fruit Brute, old buddy, I haven't seen you in ages. Let's go home. You know, do something like that. But Walmart was not doing it. So like I said, I did a bit of research and I found out that Target, yes, Target, as it were, carried the Fruit Brute himself. So, unfortunately, I myself wasn't able to go to the store that day. I, I forget exactly what the reason was, but I had prior obligations, I believe. So, my housemates went to the store to do the shopping, and they went to Target, and by golly, they actually had the Fruit Brute, like it said online, in store, and they got it for me, for which I am eternally grateful to them. So with that said, <clears throat> I'm not going to be going over all four of the monster cereals. No, <laughs> that would be too much. So what I am going to do, what I'm actually going to do, is I'm just going to go over the basics of the four monster cereals and then try Fruit Brute by itself. So. By the basics, I'm going over the calories and such between the cereals, and we're going to see which one's the healthiest, which one's the not healthiest, yada yada, the usual spiel. And it took so long, so much time was spent working on getting this silly box of cereal, that I managed to make it all the way through Count Chocula and Frankenberry. Count Chocula with assistance from one of my housemates. But I haven't really touched on Booberry just because, well, I have a little bit of trouble with it in the digestive area, if you know what I'm saying. So this one, it's going to be a while before I finish that box. Anyway, so let's see. Uh, what order should I go in? Frankenberry, Booberry, and Count Chocula. We'll start with those three. So. When it comes to Frankenberry cereal, the nutrition facts are as follows. There are 11 servings per container, approximately, and the serving size is 1 and 1 third cup, or 41 grams. And the amount of calories for your 1 and a third cup, 41 gram serving is 160. But when you add 1 half cup of skim milk, that jumps up to 200. And that's Frankenberry out of the way. So now let's check in on Booberry. Let's see, the nutrition facts for Booberry. The same amount of servings per container, 11. And the serving size, let me double check myself here, is exactly the same, 1 and 1 thirds cup, or 41 grams. And the calorie count is the same, 160 or 200 with 3 quarter, no, 1 half cup of skim milk. Now we move on to the count himself, Mr. Chocula. Nutrition fa- ooh, okay, this is actually different. The nutrition facts for old count here are as follows. There are about 15 servings per container, four more than the other two, if you're paying attention, and the serving size is one cup instead of being one and one-third cup, as this one states. And the serving size in grams is 36 compared to 41 grams for the other berry-flavored cereals. Now let's go on to the calories. The calories per your one cup 36 gram serving are 140, but that bumps up to 180 with a half cup of skim milk. 
So by technicality, Count Chocula is ever so slightly healthier for you than Frankenberry or Booberry. That's a little surprising to me. I guess they don't have to work so hard to make chocolate taste good. So, now we move on to Fruit Brute and his nutrition facts. Let's see here. Uh, nutrition facts? Okay, looks like we're looking at about the same stats as Frankenberry and Booberry. There are about 11 servings per container. Serving size is one and one third cup of 41 grams. And the calories for Fruit Brute are 160, just like Frankenberry and Booberry. And when you add one half of a cup of skim milk to that, just like the other two berry flavored cereals, it bumps up to 200. I don't know what quite is going on with my voice right now, but I don't hate it. So now let's see, what else can I talk about with these four boxes before I wind up actually going ahead and pouring myself a bowl? One notable difference between this box and all three of the others is that the cereal bowl is different. Like, here, I'll show you. If you see Count Chocula, he's got that nice big white bowl right there in front of him. And then we move on to Frankenberry, and he has much of the same, although maybe it's slightly a different angle. I'm not going to be too anal retentive about that. Then, of course, we have Booberry, and his bowl is also a solid white color, just like the other three. And also, for whatever reason, this cause person decided to put, like, a weird squiggle around the outline of the character and put X's for their eyeballs. For their pupils, I should say. <clears throat> and then we move on to Fruit Brute, and he's eating out of a clear glass bowl. Fascinating. But why, though? I guess they just wanted Fruit Brute to stand out from the pack. And I can deal with... they're not deal. I can... I can live with that. And another thing that just kind of irritated me when it came to these boxes because of the way that I had to procure them is that on the three that I was able to pick up from Walmart, they list all four of the different cereals right there on the side. Which one tastes best? You could win a Cause Monsters prize! Ends uh, December 1st... No. December 1st... 20 oh, okay, never mind. I was thinking January 1st. I was like, wait, that doesn't line up. But ends December 1st, 2022. See back for details. But anyway, it shows all four of the different monster cereals, right? Right, we got Frankenberry right there at the top. We got Fruit Brute, Booberry, and Count Chocula. And Walmart only carries Frankenberry, Booberry, and Count Chocula. Even though, right there, they're advertising Fruit Brute, who is not in the dang store. Sorry, I'm still just a little bit salty about that nonsense. <sighs> Should not have to go to two stores to get four different boxes of cereal from the same company. Blech. <laughs> but anyway, like I was saying, that was one of the main things that frustrated me. Because I kept thinking, we went to the store like two or three times, and each time I went looking, and they didn't have Fruit Brute. Why wouldn't they have Fruit Brute at the same store? <sighs> I'm getting a little too, shall we say, in the moment <laughs> talking about this. But anyway, it's like I, like I just showed you. They advertised all four of the cereals, including Fruit Brute, but he wasn't at Walmart. So we had to go to Target. You already heard that part of the story, blah de blah de blah also, another thing that I find odd is why this cause person, who apparently that's like their logo, their character, whatever, that skeleton with the X eyes, why they decided to put his weird gray bone lump things on the side of the heads of all the different characters. Well, okay, they didn't do it to Booberry. He got off scot-free. As well as Fruit Brute, I think? Yeah, Fruit Brute got away without having those weird bone shapes on the side of his head. Good for you, Fruit Brute, and... Fr uh, almost said Frankenberry again. And Booberry. 
So what else can I talk about here? Oh, and there's another thing I noticed while I was going over the boxes just now. They decided to, interestingly, put the original character, you know, unaltered artwork, on the bottom of the box. There we have Frankenberry without the X's for eyes and without the weird growths on the side of his head. There we have Count Chocula with much of the same. And I'm going to assume, yep, there's Booberry in all his glory. And, yes, Fruit Brute without the cause treatment. And another interesting thing, as I showed you with the back of the Frankenberry box, is they put cause with like a mask of each character on the back of each and every single one of these four boxes. In a way, it's kind of nostalgic because it reminds me of the boxes they've had in the past where you could actually cut out a cardboard mask that you could wear for Halloween. So now that I've done all this nonsense, showed off all four boxes, let's see, uh, and they actually went the extra mile and they put a different color for the background behind each one of these. Like they could have all just been like orange or pink or red, but they went green for Fruit Brute, br uh, pink for Count Chocula, a lightly a more red version of that pink for Frankenberry, and blue for, excuse me, blue for Booberry. Let's see, anything else I can talk about with these boxes? Anything at all? Um, nope, nothing really. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, now that you've been reintroduced to Fruit Brute, although you might have been introduced to him, uh, to him thanks to Robot Chicken, uh, they had a sketch that they did where they were talking about the um, the creature from the Black Lagoon. He and Fruit Brute were having a phone conversation about how you know Frankenstein, Count Dracula, and a ghost got themselves cereal, but the creature from the Black Lagoon didn't. And so he decided that he was going to make his own cereal, the creature with the black macaroons. But yeah, there was a, a section in that where Fruit Brute was talking to her on the phone, and he's like, Who do they think they are? <laughs> I just thought it was kind of funny. So now that I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and crack open this box. And then I'm going to put the cereal into our handy-dandy cereal bowl mug, add the milk, and have a bowl. So now the box has been opened, so let's crack this seal and get a whiff of this stuff. Hmm. It's got a delightfully fruity aroma to it. Uh, I almost want to say it has kind of a, a citrus thing going on. And also it looks like one of the marshmallows got kind of crushed in the plastic when this thing was being, you know, boxed. How very odd. Hmm. Alright, so now that the box has been opened, the seal has been broken, we bring out... Oops, move that so I got better lighting, thank you. We bring out our handy dandy cereal bowl mug. Into which we're going to pour our brutish, fruitish friend, Fruit Brute. Put that in shot so you can see it. Just like that. Okay. So now we put the cereal bowl mug down. We try and seal in that freshness by rolling down that bag. We fold the flaps. Tip, 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 pop. And we set that aside. So we have a mug of cereal. And as per usual, as I usually do around this channel when it comes to cereals, I will try it wet, sorry, I will try it dry and then wet. Though we might have to come up to a little bit of a break here in a few moments because, well, we're reaching the 20 minute mark now, aren't we? So, let's see, 10 seconds. Okay, I will wait.
Although for you, I'm probably going to chop this down and you're not going to have any idea that there was any kind of a jump. And so I says to the guy, you know, they haven't had this cereal for you. Oh, here I am. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. So, as I was saying, I'm going to try this dry and then wet. So here's the dry. Gonna grab just a couple more to make sure I've actually got the proper flavor profile. Whoops. Okay. It's definitely different than Frankenberry. It's, um. Let me just. It's definitely got more of a citrus punch to it than Frankenberry. I like it. Now one thing, one distinction this cereal has compared to its contemporaries is that the other three come with little marshmallow bats. This one comes with what appears to be little marshmallow Frankenstein heads. Yeah, the marshmallows don't really have any particular flavor that I can tell. I've just had an, a yellow one, an orange one, now I'm about to have a purple one, and finish off with a pink one. Oh, and for you, the viewer, and for the sake of posterity, there's an orange one. Okay. Okay. I like it. So now, let's try it with the wet treatment. Spooky, scary, skintalins, la di da di da. Pouring milk into this bowl to make the cereal roise. Okay. If I add any more than that, it's going to spill out of the bowl, and it may still do that anyway, considering I left the spoon in there before I started pouring. Like the idiots that I am. <laughs> All right, let's see. Carefully, carefully extracting the spoon. Carefully. Don't want to drop any of that cereal on the... Well, it didn't land on the floor. It landed on one of the other boxes. It is. Ooh, that one landed in my lap, thanks to some quick reflexes. All right, here we go. It's just the cereal pieces, no marshmallows, and... That one's on me. There was one piece sticking up. I tried to push it down. It stuck to my finger and I think it hit the floor. Regardless, I think I will actually be buying another box of this at some point. If I can make another trip out to Target. Because this stuff is actually pretty dang good. And let me get another bite of it. Okay, there we go. Got some marshmallows this time. And so you can see I hope they bring this back next year. I really hope they bring this back next year. Or at the very least, if they do, like, decide not to do this again next year, that they bring back Fruity Yummy Mummy. Because I want to have tried all these monster cereals on camera so that you all can see my review and get my opinions on this stuff. Really nice and crunchy. Also, I forgot to show you the cereal pieces, which actually don't look all that different from the rest of them. I mean, it's got the coloration of Frankenberry, but all the rest of them have the same shape. And you'll have to pardon me if I start just kind of chowing down on this a little bit, because this is my actual breakfast today. So before I actually start doing that, I'm just going to put that down. And with that, I'm going to say... Root, root, buddy. I'm glad you're back. I wasn't there for your original launch. In fact, I think that was about, let's see, this came out in 74, 84. Uh, that was about 15 years before I was born when this first hit shelves. It's actually kind of a good thing that I wasn't around when these first came out because this stuff apparently did funny stuff to your stool after you ate it. And I'm not talking about the chair you're sitting on. <laughs> 
apparently it had a uh, a similar <coughs> effect to uh, if you recall the Hallow Whopper from Burger King again not sponsored apparently it had a similar effect to that only instead of being green it was pink <laughs> Like I said, I've done a bit of research for this. Alright, so with that said, ladies and gentlemen, I do recommend, if you can find the stuff, go ahead and get yourself a box. Who knows, if we actually push hard enough and buy enough of these this year, it might be back next year. It all depends on us, the consumers, to tell these companies what we actually want. Although I do have a slight worry that if we do get them to bring back that cereal that they will be taking one of the big three and dealing away with them, doing away with them. So on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I actually pose a question to you. For those of you who actually eat the monster cereals, if one had to go so that Fruit Brute could come back, if one of these cereals had to go, which would you choose? Would it be Booberry? Would it be Frankenberry? Or would it be Count Chocula? Let me know in the comments section down below, even though I know you won't because no one really ever uses the comments for whatever bloody reason. They're down there, you, you type words and they appear on the screen, you hit enter and boom, I can read your thoughts on the screen. But I don't mean telepathically, I can't do that yet. Still a few years off in my training. Anyway, <clears throat> like I said, if one of these had to go so that Fruit Brute could come back, which would it be? Count Chocula, Frankenberry, or Booberry? With that said, I hope you all enjoyed this video. It's a bit on the longer side, but you can understand why, considering the amount of content, the amount of uh, information I just shared with you all. So from me and Fruit Brute here, we want to say thank you all so very much for watching. And until next we meet, this is Oxtoberfest saying, later. <laughs>